Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is part three of my new animals, because I got three new animals. And this is the last one. I won't be handling this one for this video. We're still working on the handling process, but I will let you guys see him, and I am about to feed him, so you'll get to see that also. Real quick before we get into it though, if you haven't already, please feel free, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos, and let's go meet him. So this is the other new animal. This is Perseus. He is a Cuban Knight Anole. His name is Percy for short. And he is absolutely adorable. I mean, look at him, cutest little thing ever. So the reason I ended up with Percy was because I was looking for another education animal, specifically a lizard, because Arcadius is my only lizard that comes with me to do programs. And a lot of people don't like snakes. But I wanted something a little more unique, not something you go and see at a pet store. And I've always wanted a Cuban Knight and all. And I found this guy. It was actually a pair, male and a female, um, being sold by a breeder that was more into geckos. So he was captive bred, which is really amazing and kind of sort of a rarity for Cuban Knight and all. So he was captive bred, so his temperament is really good. I can handle him, um, but he is kind of jumpy because he's still very young. So I'm hoping he mellows out a little more as he gets bigger. But I did tell the breeder that I wanted him for education purposes and he said he would be great. He picked him up, handled him right there. So we just have to work on it, get him used to me, um, and just kind of, you know, work through it. So I don't have an exact age on him. I do have to ask the breeder again. He said he would look it up for me and I don't think he did. But he is still little, not full grown, just a little guy. And you may be wondering about his mouth. Um, I did ask the breeder about that. We believe it's just from rubbing on his enclosure um, that he was in. It was more pink when I got him. It's looking much better now, so I do believe it was just rubbing. So I will show you his enclosure. This is a temporary setup. This was his quarantine enclosure because he was quarantined in my sister's room. I just moved him in here. But I am working on a bigger enclosure for him. I've already got plants and whatnot to put in it. I just need the enclosure itself. So I either have to buy one or build one. But that is on my to-do list. It's one of the next things that I'll be doing after I get my Doom Rolls boa moved over and get all the snakes moved and whoever where they're gonna go so he's on the to-do list it is planned i just have to do it cute boy so let's go ahead and watch him hunt for those that don't follow me on instagram here's my latest reptile hack it's a shaker bottle from walmart it's like the salad section i use it for my crickets mainly because super tall and they can't jump out but really any feeder insects it's great for putting your supplements on and give them a good shake and dumping them in because i just got this little flip top with a hole but i do have i don't know a couple of four crickets that i'm going to give him um just because i'm running out of crickets so after that i will give him some mealworms to finish off his meal but here we go So typically Cuban night owls are a lot like chameleons, very bitey, um, just not very nice. But because he was captive bred, he just has a good temperament. He he doesn't bite or anything. He's more just jumpy and kind of flighty, kind of like a crested gecko would be. Um, so we are going to work on that, but from what I can tell, he's not aggressive or bitey at all. And that's exactly what that breeder said. He said, you work with him and he'll be a great education animal. So we're giving it a try. I mean, I really wanted one of these anyway, and he was asking next to nothing for him because he wanted to just get out of breeding them and just stick with geckos because he didn't want all the extra UVB and heat and all that stuff. So I had the male and female listed for the same price and about the, what you would ask for a wild caught pair. And these guys were captive bred. So, you know, I didn't take both. I just took the male. I only needed one, but I did get a very good deal on him because the guy wanted to get out of breeding them. I think we found a cricket. 
Where is it? Alright, since he's not really hunting, we're just going to tongue feed him for you guys. Where's that cracky? Eat it! Let's try mealworms instead. Do you want those mealworms? There we go. He didn't want crickets. He wanted mealworms. You gonna let it go? Yeah, I'll put it down here for you. You can go finish it down there. Alright, so that's Percy. You have now officially met all three of my new animals. So thank you guys for watching as always and we'll see you for the next video.